What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Aviators. Needed to do a video on the Cessna. And yes, it sold. It, uh, it actually sold like in the first couple days I put the video up and I put an ad on Barnstormers and boom, uh, that puppy was gone. So, um, so the Cessna's gone and then that's where the adventure started. Uh, basically, you know, the buyer called me was looking for a 182, liked what I had done with the 172. I sent him to the YouTube channel. He went and watched every video I did on it, called me back and said, I'll take it. And uh, I said, cool, well, you know, how do you want to get it, you know, to you? And the guy was in Georgia. And uh, basically he, uh, <laughs> we, we got to talk and I said, you know what, I'll just fly it to you. No big deal, a couple days. Yeah. A couple days turned into eight days, uh, three days of flying, and five days of sitting in hotel rooms waiting for, you know, the coldest air on earth, freezing rain, snow, wind, like <coughs> the dog. He's a pain. <coughs> Sam, no. Y'all want to meet Sam? Sam? The worst puppy I have ever met in my whole life. Spastic. He doesn't listen. It was hard to potty train him, but he's a good little hunting dog, so he gets to stay. Okay. Anyways, that's him. Um. So the wind. Oh, good lord! The wind uh, for a couple of the lakes was just epic. Sometimes it was in my favor. Sometimes it wasn't. So. Anyways, I'll insert a picture here of, you know, kind of day one through day eight of the weather. So basically, I got the first day of flying in and uh, made it about three hours into a 12-hour journey or a 15 hour journey however I think I think I ended up flying like 14 and a half hours or something like that and uh, ended up stuck in a hotel you know waiting for an ice storm to pass waiting for the wind to calm down uh, then a few days later I, there was a weather window uh, I was flying into Brunswick uh, Georgia so then I flew into just on the border of, uh, of Tennessee waited there another day and then the next day it was wide open all the way to Georgia and so I took off the winds aloft were like 45 knot tailwind directly pointing towards Brunswick Georgia so I climbed up to those favorable winds and just flew straight there and it was it was fun met the new owner just a super super guy uh, and I'll say the same thing to him uh, to you that I said to him, which is, you know, every airplane I've ever sold, I've made really good friends with the new owners and, and it's just better that way. You know, if, if they have a problem with the plane, you know, he's called me four or five times, uh, about questions and I want that. I don't want him to, you know, feel like I dumped a plane on him or something like that. So, so it's, uh, it's got a really good, really cool new owner. Uh, the next day after I landed, I landed kind of right at the evening. Here's a picture of that. So overall, the trip down there was just, it, it was fun. It was my kind of adventure, you know, just kind of dealing with a little bit of adversity and, and loving every minute of it. Got to fly over the Mississippi again. I haven't done that for years and years. Um, actually, I kind of took a detour, detour and flew down it. Got some really cool pics. Here's one. So then, um, you know, the night I flew in, he and I tied down the plane, you know, went and talked about the airplane, all the systems. Um, I got a hotel room. Next morning we got up and, you know, I figured I was there. Uh, he didn't know anything about the plane. Great pilot, you know, very, uh, just a very, uh, how would you say it, kind of, uh, you know, uh, just a very conservative guy. I mean, he's going to do really well with this airplane. So anyways, we flew it down to uh, Florida to a really cool airport down there. I can't even pronounce it, so I won't try. 
uh, flew up and down the coast, and it was just cool. You know, I've never flown that area of the country before, uh, and so for me it was fun to go fly over the old installations and the army installations and, uh, you know, just uh, teach him everything I could teach him about the airplane. I mean, I basically built it. And so did that, then we flew home. And uh, here's some pictures of that. All it was a great trip, made a new friend. Uh, said he's going to come hunting with me in the fall. That'll be fun uh, to see uh, 2523 Yankee again. Uh, feel good about uh, selling the plane. Uh, feel like it was the right buyer. And, uh, you know, all's well that ends well. And, uh, all right. So that's an update, the last update, I hope, on the Cessna. So all you guys that are asking questions, that's it. Um, all right. If you like this sort of thing, like, subscribe, comment. Till next time.